<clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm here again with another video tutorial and so this time I will try to make something like a uh, desert material uh, maybe a cracked ground it's a uh, very simple so let's start and do this okay first thing I will use the cells node, not this one, the other cells. Like this. And I will scale down. But just to visualize better, I will use uh, an edge defect. Like this. But if you see the lines here are really big, uh, I think we can use uh, more deformation or to make more scratchy or something like this. So for this, let me delete this. I will make a slope with a Gaussian noise. Okay, samples, intensity, increase maybe like this, and now a directional warp to make more deformation like this one and now another directional warp but with the crystal node okay let me scale down a little bit okay yes something like this so let me connect here. If you don't know how to do this, there is another video in the channel. You can just watch this. The link will be in the description. So just go and check this. Let me increase the normal. Okay. Now let me slope this with clouds. Samples on max and intensity. Just like this. The school results. Okay. Mm, first thing, I will try to make a bevel. Just let me see if this will work. Let me create a level and increase the dark. Let's move this like this and blend back. Oops, my normal in the height map, like this one. And let me abstract like this one decrease a little bit okay now we already have a good shape for our material so let's create um, other cracks in the surface so for this I will copy this again but here I will scale 
up a little bit. And let's see. Let me use others to make a different shape. I think here we can make something different. Instead we use the minimum, we can use blur. That's something like this. So I will blend again. This one with this. Okay, let me move to black. And I will slope again with clouds. Connect here. Again, samples on max and decrease a little bit the intensity to make something like this and I think we can make um, more variation surface just just to not make something like um, these rounds like this one so for this we can use cells decrease the scale I will use directional warp again and I will use my height map and increase the intensity I think we can increase the black to yeah something like this and let me slope this one with a further noise or just a clouds clouds too okay connected and make this very soft like this and blend back okay like this one okay nice um, now let's work with the color map so to start this, let me delete this and I will use a curvature smooth connected to my normal map and this is will be our base color so let me create some texture here let me blend this with the spots too and multiply this one but very soft like this okay gradient map okay for now I will make a dark orange here Maybe something like this. And connect this one and this. My ambient occlusion. Let me see how the height map is working here. Okay, it's working pretty well. Um, okay.
it was very good I will blend again with my ambient occlusion but first creature levels I will invert these levels clicking here and I will connect here so let me take a color to blend this just to visualize okay Just for the end, if you want, you can create levels connected to our curvature smooth and increase the black just to take the statues here and blend back and put this in our opacity and again take a color and white connected so just to finish I think I can make more variation in my roughness for this, let me decrease the position. With this one. So just to complete this video, um, I think we can put some sand in the background. So to do this. Let me see what I have to do. Um, maybe plasma. Let me use levels to invert this one. And I will make a transform. Just to increase this. this. Make something like this and make, make a tile fo photo grayscale ok and let's create a height blend here something like this but let's correct this one these dark values we don't need this kind of dark we can uh, play with this gray arrow here and make this scent more soft like this one okay but first let me create a gradient and let me first blend this with a fractal stun base just to make a uh, more synth texture here. Let me multiply this. This one, okay. Okay, for this, let me let me blend before this one. Okay, blend here. Make connect the height mask into my opacity, 
and connect this one and now let me decrease this contrast on max this is totally optional you just do this if you want just to make more variation let me look no direction of work this with uh, completely noise decrease this one and put here this so that's it uh, if you want more video like this please uh, you're welcome to join my patreon and you can see more videos like this and collect uh, others rewards so you're welcome to visit them if you have some questions put in the comments follow me on instagram many people ask me things on instagram i always try to help uh people in substance designer uh, make their steps so if you want to join my patreon and subscribe subscribe in the channel uh, hit the like button like button and this is will help a lot so Thanks for everything and see you next time.